Hey everyone, this is Sherry again, and thanks for uh, watching the video today. Um, today I'm going to be doing a process video on uh, making a mini album. And this is a mini album uh, for, this was actually a challenge issued again by the Hip Kid Club, and it was using uh, specific pieces as the base of the album, which is what I was pointing out at the very beginning of the video. And so there's specific pieces we were supposed to use uh, on the album, and so that is where where I started and those, that was my base and so what I'm doing now is I am just uh, making sure that I'm putting it all in the correct order punching the holes and getting the base of my album ready to go so that then I can start adding photos and embellishments and so um, I am taking some of the things that are from my stash most of the base of the album is from the hip kit club um, and so I'll be going through those and adding those uh, to the to the mini. I do have a few things that I do add and so um, but right now I'm just getting it all together and making sure it's in the page in the order that I want it to go in and then I'm going to begin assembling that. And I love the way it turned out. I'm not a huge mini album maker. I haven't, um, I, I used to do a lot of mini albums, but not in recent times. Um, I am more of layouts, uh, project life, that kind of thing. I don't do a lot of mini albums, um, but this was part of the challenge and I wanted to do it. And I'm really happy with it. I really love the way it turned out. I just love the colors in it. I love the whole Maggie Holmes line, the open book collection. Love everything about that. So um, that may be why I like this album so much, this mini album so much. Um, what I'm doing is just adding some sequins to the front. Um, I'm keeping this fairly simple, adding a few embellish embellishments to it, um, but still just keeping it fairly simple. I wanted to just, um, you know, make it simple, and um, I think that's what I did. It was actually very quick to put together. I think I did the whole album in less than an hour. Uh, in fact, I have sped it up quite a bit. You can see the video is sped up quite a bit because I didn't want to just drag the video out forever because it's already um, it was long to begin with uh, since it is a whole album, mini album being done. So I've sped it up, but uh, you'll still get to see it uh, the you know the process and see what I'm doing here. So. Um, what I'm doing is just uh, layering some photos. Um, I do have some of those die cut pieces. Uh, one of those that, that are there with the hearts. Some of the pieces that are from the uh, cut apart paper has uh, some of the cards. That's the one that my heart is full card is actually part of the, the paper that uh, has a lot of different cutouts on it. And so I did cut that apart and uh, you can see some of those in there. In that little tin uh, that I'm using that has the, the ephemera and die cut pack that I had left. And then also some of the papers. You can see the photo booth paper that I just put there. That was part of the cut apart page as well. And so I'm just layering a few of those pieces on there. And um, I do love those cut aparts. And what I wanted to do was I was going to do something different here and add some sequins uh, inside the glassine bag. You can't really see it on camera. It doesn't show up very well, but it does show through the bag pretty good. So it's kind of just a nice little addition, a little shaker almost like a little shaker bag, um, confetti type bag. And so what I'm doing is I'm just tacking it down with a little bit of adhesive there. And then what I'm going to do is just run a seam uh, along the end of that glassine bag to keep those sequins from falling out. Now the bag, I think the bag itself is actually from um, a kit I, that I've received in the past. Um, a lot of times with kits, they'll use the glassine bags to, you know, put wood veneers or some extra pieces into. And I always save those. I, I have a little drawer that I save all that those little uh, things in so that I can use them. They're great for layering um, and just pieces like in a little projects like this. I love to pull those pieces out and use them. And so that is uh, what that little bag is from. And so what I did is I just filled it with uh, some Con, um, not confetti, excuse me, some sequins, and uh, sewed the bag up so you could actually you can actually see the sequins through there, which is fun. And then again, I'm cutting up some more of that uh, paper there that's the cut apart paper. And this box that I have right here is just a big box that I just throw all of my extra little pieces into, whether it's ephemera, cut aparts, die cuts, and I keep that in. If I need a little something, I just dig through there and uh, see if I can find something to pull out and use. It's kind of fun to, to dig through there once in a while. And uh, so I do keep that on hand. And going through my photos there and just applying them. Now I did, was able to do this, like I said, 
rather quickly. Um, even though it, it took an hour, it's not bad for a mini album. I was able to go through on my phone, thankfully, had some recent pictures, and was able to just uh, print them out very quickly on my selfie, which uh, helped get that done very quickly. I do love printing photos on my selfie. I don't know if you, if any of you have a selfie or if you use it, but it's so convenient to use it. Um, some of these even smaller pictures, even though it prints uh, a four by six, which is not it's not a true four by six. It's pretty close. Um, but I can print, uh, you know, like two pictures on a page, for example, like the one here of my grandson, it's like, a I don't know, two and a half by two and a half probably. And so I can print two of those on a four by six sheet and print them straight from my phone. It's very quick and easy. So that helped me be able to get this done quickly. Now here, what I am doing is, uh, in that little tray, I do have some freckled fawn uh, embellishments uh, from my freckled fawn kit. So I'm just kind of digging through there, seeing what I can find to add to that uh, little layout, I want to call it, that little page that I'm doing right there. And um, just adding some of those embellishments. I am trying to um, get some more voiceovers completed. I do have several videos completed and um, trying to get the voiceovers done on them. I, I had plans to get some done today. Um, we've had kind of a rough couple of days around here. Um, yesterday we had to um, put our we have had a golden retriever that we had since he was a puppy. We've had him for 12 years. And yesterday he had an episode uh, that anyway, just uh, wasn't good and um, left him unable to walk. And uh, so the vet said it was just time we needed to just, you know, put him down. And so broke our hearts and it was just a very rough day. And even today we've had a hard time kind of getting through um, because he's just become so, he was so much part of our family. Um, we got him when my daughter was 12. And uh, so, I mean, all through her teenage years growing up and then now even with my grandson, my grandson loved him. And um, so he's just so much a part of our family. And so we've had um, a tough time kind of dealing with that and, uh, you know, just getting through that. And um, so I didn't just said that to say this. I didn't get a chance to get much of my uh, voiceovers done, but I did want to at least get this one out today because um, it's a mini album. I thought it was fun. I've been doing, you know, sharing some layouts. So I wanted to do something different. So I wanted to get the mini album done and get it uploaded. Uh, so I'm working on, I wanted to make sure that I got that done. So um, anyway, I'll be finishing the rest of those voiceovers and getting the other videos up. Um, but here I am. I have that little tin of just little tags and uh, labels that I'm digging through trying to find something there. That again is my stash um, that I'm pulling from and adding that. So I do have a few pieces that I have added from my stash uh, to add to the mini album and just doing a little bit of journaling there. And I'm very happy with how this mini album actually turned out. And it was fun to put together. It was actually very easy. Um, you know, it just came together so quickly. I think when you have your base pages easily put together and those are done, um, like, you know, when I first started, I was, what I was doing is putting together the base pages. Once you've got those, then you just add the, you know, a few little pieces to each little page. And before you know it, it's just completed. And, um, it didn't take much to get it done. Um, when you have the small canvas like that to work on, um, just a few things is all it takes and then it's done. So, um, I did enjoy the process of that and, uh, getting that completed quickly. So, that's the cut apart page that I was telling you about. I've used a lot of that and have some left, um, but was able to actually make a pretty big chunk in that. And so I'm hoping to wrap up uh, finishing the the rest of my kit. I do have a few things left that I think I can still squeeze, a, you know, a couple of layouts out of and uh, hopefully get those done. I'm trying to get those done and get the kit done before my November kit arrives, which is due um pretty much any day now. I think they're getting ready to ship those out. So I want to get my October kit uh, cleaned up or killed, so to speak. Um, and the layout, the doily lace that I'm using right there, the pink one is just a regular doily from like, um, I don't know, I think I got it around Valentine's Day or something like at Michael's. And then that white one is the Martha Stewart doilies that you used to be able to get. I love those things. I hoarded them. I bought <laughs> several packages. Um, and I don't think you can get them anymore, but I love those, those little white doilies. It's sad that she doesn't make them anymore because they were so cute. Um, but I do have a, a stash of those still. 
and just um, adding the photo here of me with my daughter and grandson. And this album is, is um, just what it's titled, My Heart is Full, so it's just full of everything that makes my heart full, which is pretty much my family. <laughs> and so um, you see a lot of my family in here, and uh, my daughter and son-in-law and grandson and my husband, of course. And so it's fun just making little albums like this that you can just, um, you know, share some favorite pictures and uh, just enjoy that um, process. So. Just doing a bit of layering here with just little pieces from the kit, um, the the gold little gold medal that's from the kit, the ephemera pack, and um, again those little strips, word strips that's from the cut apart page from the paper, which is just goes so far. It's amazing how many pieces you can get off of those sheets, and that is done. And that little uh, can not canvas, excuse me, the craft tag is something that I did have in my stash, and um, I just added the doilies to that, and so that is, you know, not part of what was in the kit, but I did add that to that. And using the gold thickers that came with the kit. We really got that. There's really a lot that come in that package. So, um, you know, if you're looking for some great words, uh, that's a great package to get. And especially with the gold uh, glitter, it's just they're just so pretty. I love them. One of my favorite things in the kit. And um, I still have some uh, quite a bit of those left uh, again because we just got so many. There was just so many in the whole package. So I do like that. They do go far. I do love the look of that uh, craft or cardboard with the white doily and then the gold. I just love the way that that looks. And so um, there again, that Maggie Holmes uh, black and white striped paper is was one of my favorites. It's not a dark black. It's almost like a, it's not really a gray, but it's almost like a washed black. So pretty. I just love it. I could have several sheets of that and be totally happy. And... So what I'm doing here is I am using a photo of me and my husband, and um, it's just a funny story that I have to share. Um, it's called Sunday Selfies, I think is what I put on this page. And some time ago, I had started, I don't know, one day I was just, we were driving to church on Sunday morning, and we were dressed up, and I was like, hey, let's take a picture. And um, of just my husband and I, and so we started calling it Sunday Selfies. It just kind of became a habit with where every Sunday we would do that because, you know, I just wanted to start taking pictures of he and I. I didn't have a lot of pictures of he and I together. Um, you know, we always take pictures of the kids and all of that, but I wanted to make sure that reached a point where I wanted to be in the pictures and I wanted, you know, to make sure that he and I were in pictures. And so we started this, um, taking pictures on Sunday morning on the way to church. And what's funny is it kind of stuck. Um, and so we, we tease, we have fun now. Even my husband will be like, are you ready for a Sunday selfie? And so I just think it's funny because, you know, I most of the time men don't get into that. But my husband loves it. He actually looks forward to it. And uh, in fact, some of the time he's, um, you can't even tell he's not even looking at the camera. He's got his sunglasses on and he's looking at the road. But um, we are careful about it. There is a place uh, on the way that's um, not very not a lot of cars on the road. It's just a little two lane road. So, uh, anyway, he'll kind of slow down and we'll take our Sunday selfie, but so it's kind of become a little joke between us about our Sunday selfie. So I had to put that in there. Um, and so you see a lot of pictures of us uh, in the same position in the same vehicle, sometimes even the same background, because that's, that's where we do our Sunday selfies. So, um, just a bit of fun, uh, trivia there. Uh, and it's kind of just makes me laugh when I see the Sunday selfies. So I had to make sure that I got that into this little album here. So I think it's important, um, you know, to make sure that you are in pictures. You know, I went for a long time to be honest with you. I didn't want to have pictures taken for whatever reason, but you know, it's like, 
I am who I am, you know, and my family loves me. And so, you know, I want to make sure that I'm represented. I want to, you know, be there. I want to make sure that, you know, I was actually, hey, I was at that event or I was actually there. And so I started stepping in the front of the camera and having people even take pictures of us. Here, take a picture of me. And um, because a lot of times when you're behind the camera, you're not in a lot of pictures. So I think it's very important to make sure that you do get, um, that you do get yourself in pictures. And so I've enjoyed that. And this is, um, my husband and I, again, we are, um, we've started, um, actually a few months, a couple months ago, we wanted to just start walking, you know, it's kind of like, I was really wanting to get in shape and just kind of just be more active. Um, because I think it's easy to just kind of become, as you get older, you don't have to run after kids or anything. It's, it's easier to just, you know, kind of slow down. And I don't want to do that. I wanted to make sure that we, we wanted to stay active. And so we started uh, going for, you know, taking long walks and thankfully, I'm so thankful that we do have schedules that work it out where we can actually go together. And so I wanted to document it. It's just, we're really enjoying it. It's a time where we walk together, we talk and we have a beautiful trail right near our house that we can walk. And I think it goes for 15 miles. Not that we've made it walking that far as of yet, but, um, we've actually increased and doing pretty well. Um, so we usually, we try to go in the, we always go in the morning and then try to go in the evening. And so we try to go twice a day and go hit the trail. It's like a minute from our house. And so I wanted to make sure that I documented that because um, that's something that we've really come to enjoy and look forward to. And, um, so I want to make sure I got that down. And so now I'm adding a tag here. The tag is of course my own from my stash and I'm just adding a little bit of, um, pattern paper to that just to give it a little bit more interest. And what I do like about the album, I, I love an album that has different pieces in it, different sizes, different random, uh, bits thrown in here and there. And so I do that even like on my December dailies when I've done those, I have different, different, all different sizes. And I think that's just fun. It makes it so interactive. And, um, this album is no different. There's, you know, large pieces, there's small pieces, there's die cuts, um, that you flip through. And I just think it makes it just a lot of fun. And so I pulled out one of my tags and I'm just adding a photo here of my grandson and, um, it doesn't take a whole lot, you know, a photo and a, couple of those little word strips and um, I'm going to be adding a few a couple pieces of wood veneer the um, bright colored wood veneer which is from pink fresh studio that's actually from my stash I pulled those out because I wanted to add a couple of fun pieces um, since he's so brightly dressed and everything is just fun so I thought those fit so I'm adding the embellishments from pink fresh studio and then I think that's pretty much done. And this is going to be the last page here. Now, what I did is I'm actually using a leaf uh, that I cut from my silhouette. What I do is um, when I'm cutting pieces on my silhouette or I need a, um, you know, a shape cut, I'll fill the page with some random, random cuts, just things that I think I might be using that I might use at some point. And I'll cut it all in white because then what I can do is very flexible. I can spray it. I can mist it. I can ink it or paint it. Um, to be whatever color I want it to be. And so I have a little drawer that I throw all my extra cuts in. And if I need a piece, like for example, in this situation, I don't have to load my silhouette and cut it. It's there. It's ready. I can just find something that will work and pull it out and uh, use it, which is what I did on this, that little leaf um, there. And I'm going to be spraying it with the Heidi Swap uh, gold, gold mist, um, which I think goes so well with the open book collection, especially with this paper. And I'm going to be uh, using it on this page here. I have another glassine bag uh, that I used, and I think it's got the gold glitter tape on it that actually was left on there. That's how it came in uh, the item. I don't remember what came in it. It came with a kit or something and with some embellishments in it. And I just kept the gold tape on there. And it's great. They're just fun to use for layering, kind of add another extra te little texture on there. And then I'm going to be layering the leaf on there and putting the photo on there. And it's going to wrap that up pretty quickly. So, but I do love the gold on there. I just love how that uh, gold looks. And I think I'm going to be using one of the glitter stickers there, the glitter thickers, excuse me. And um, that is going to pretty well wrap up the mini. Now I've got some still shots for you coming up, some close-ups that you can take a look at. And um, again, it was just a quick, easy album to put together. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, it wasn't too fast or too long for you. Um, if you're still with me at this point, just want to thank you for hanging in there. And um, thank you again for your comments. I do look forward to your comments, and I do read those. And thank you for all your support, and we will see you again soon. Thank you.